Hello kids, are you tired of going on a vacation to places within the earth? This video is going to make you explore about the options available outside the earth. Are you excited to go to space? Come on, let's jump in. Solar System We need to know what a solar system is. The solar system is the gravitationally bound system of the sun and the objects that orbit it. It formed 4.6 billion years ago from the gravitational collapse of a giant interstellar molecular cloud. The vast majority of the system's mass is in the Sun, with most of the remaining mass contained in the planet Jupiter. Our solar system consists of our star, the Sun, and everything bound to it by gravity, the planets, dozens of moons, and millions of asteroids, comets, and meteoroids. Sun the Sun is a star, a hot ball of glowing gases at the heart of our solar system. Its influence extends far beyond the orbits of distant Neptune and Pluto. Without the Sun's intense energy and heat, there would be no life on Earth. The Sun is the solar system's star and by far its most massive component. The Sun is the dominant gravitational member of the solar system, and its planetary system is maintained in a relatively stable, slowly evolving state by following isolated, gravitationally bound orbits around the Sun. Earth Earth is the largest and densest of the inner planets, the only one known to have current geological activity, and the only place where life is known to exist. Its liquid hydrosphere is unique among the terrestrial planets, and it is the only planet where plate tectonics has been observed. It has one natural satellite, the Moon, the only large satellite of a terrestrial planet in the solar system. Moon The Moon is Earth's only natural satellite. In the solar system it is the fifth largest satellite, larger than any of the known dwarf planets and the largest, and most massive, satellite of a planet relative to the planet. The Moon is a planetary mass object that formed a differentiated rocky body, making it a satellite planet under the geophysical definitions of the term. Star A star is an astronomical object comprising a luminous spheroid of plasma held together by its gravity. The nearest star to Earth is the Sun. Many other stars are visible to the naked eye at night, but their immense distances from Earth make them appear as fixed points of light. The most prominent stars have been categorized into constellations and asterisms, and many of the brightest stars have proper names. Asteroid An asteroid is a minor planet of the inner solar system. Sizes and shapes of asteroids vary significantly, ranging from 1-meter rocks to dwarf planets almost 1,000 kilometers in diameter, they are metallic or rocky bodies with no atmosphere. The majority of known asteroids orbit within the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, generally in relatively low eccentricity orbits. Shooting Star a shooting star is another name for a meteoroid that burns up as it passes through the Earth's atmosphere. So, a shooting star, star isn't a star at all. Shooting stars are glowing streaks of light produced by small pieces of space rock and dust when they enter the atmosphere at high speed. Planets A planet is a celestial body that is in orbit around the Sun has sufficient mass for its self-gravity to overcome rigid body forces so that it assumes a hydrostatic equilibrium, nearly round, shape, and has cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. Apart from the Sun, the largest members of the solar system are the eight major planets. Nearest the Sun are four fairly small, rocky planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Beyond Mars is the asteroid belt, a region populated by millions of rocky objects. These are leftovers from the formation of the planets, 4.5 billion years ago. On the far side of the asteroid belt are the four gas giants, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets are much bigger than Earth, but very lightweight for their size. They are mostly made of hydrogen and helium. Until recently, the furthest known planet was an icy world called Pluto. However, Pluto is dwarfed by Earth's moon and many astronomers think it is too small to be called a true planet. 
Mercury. Mercury is the first planet from the Sun. It is not very easy to observe since it is always close to the Sun in the sky. Even when best placed, it is close to the horizon and only visible for a few hours after sunset or before sunrise. Mercury is a small, rocky world. It is only about as wide as the Atlantic Ocean and 18 Mercuries would fit inside the Earth. Mercury is surprisingly dense. It is thought to have a large iron core that fills most of Mercury's interior. It also has a surprisingly strong magnetic field. Venus Venus is the second planet from the Sun, so it is always fairly close to the Sun in the sky. It appears as a brilliant morning or evening star, the brightest object in the night sky apart from the Moon. In a telescope, it can be seen to go through phases, just like the Moon. Venus is so bright because it is covered by clouds that reflect much of the incoming sunlight. The yellowish clouds are made of sulfur and sulfuric acid. In some ways, Venus is Earth's twin. Earth Everyone on Earth is a traveler through space. First, the Earth zooms around the Sun at a speed of 30 km per second, 45 times faster than Concorde. It takes 365 days, one year, to complete one orbit of the Sun. It also spins very quickly, like a top that is leaning to one side. The tilt of the axis that joins the North and South Poles means that the Earth has seasons. When the North Pole points towards the Sun, then it is summer in the northern countries. When the North Pole points away from the Sun, these countries have their winter. The seasons are the exact opposite to the south of the equator. Mars Mars is often called the red planet because it appears in the sky as an orange-red star. The color caused the ancient Greeks and Romans to name it after their god of war. Today, thanks to visiting spacecraft, we know that the planet's appearance is due to rust in the Martian rocks. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. It orbits the Sun at an average distance of 228 million kilometers, half as far again as the Earth, so human visitors would find it very cold. Although summers near the equator can be quite warm, the average temperature is 63 degrees Celsius below zero, similar to winters in Antarctica. The nights are also bitterly cold. Jupiter Beyond the asteroid belt is Jupiter, the fifth planet from the Sun. Everything about Jupiter is large. It is so big that it could easily swallow all of the other planets, or more than 1,300 Earths. It also weighs more than twice as much as all the other planets. Despite its huge size, Jupiter is the fastest spinning planet, rotating once in less than 10 hours. Jupiter is five times as far from the Sun as the Earth, so its surface temperature is low, around minus 145 degrees Celsius. Every 13 months or so it comes closer to us and becomes very bright in the night sky. Jupiter is a giant ball of gas, with no solid surface. It is mainly made of the very light gases, hydrogen and helium. Saturn Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. It was thought to be the furthest of the planets until the telescope was invented. Second only in size to Jupiter, Saturn is made mainly of the light gases hydrogen and helium. 764 Earths would fit inside Saturn, but the gas giant weighs only 95 times as much as our rocky world. If you could put all of the planets in a pool of water, Saturn is the only one that would float. Despite its size, Saturn spins once in a little more than 10 hours. Its spin is so rapid that it bulges outwards at the equator, making it look like a ball that has been squashed. Uranus Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. It was discovered by William Herschel in 1781. Uranus lies more than 2,800 million kilometers from the Sun. At this distance, the temperature of its cloud tops is minus 214 degrees Celsius. It moves quite slowly and has a long way to travel, so each orbit lasts 84 years. Uranus is a giant world, the third largest planet in our solar system. 64 Earths would fit inside it. 
Despite its size, it spins rapidly. A day on Uranus lasts only 17 hours 14 minutes. Neptune Neptune was discovered in 1846 by Johann Gall, an astronomer at the Berlin Observatory. Gall knew where to look because of calculations by French mathematician Urbain Le Verrier. Both Le Verrier and John Adams in England had realized that an unseen planet was pulling on Uranus, causing it to slow down or speed up. Neptune turned out to be almost an identical twin of Uranus. It is 57 times bigger than the Earth, but spins quite rapidly, one day lasts only 16 hours 7 minutes.